Okay guys, hello. It's been quite the day. Um, I'm at the supermarket now and the babies are sleeping behind me. I managed to go to one, two, three places with them in the car sleeping and I'm so grateful. I'm always very fast. Just wanted to get some stuff. I have um, a birthday boy soon in March. So I wanted to get ahead and get some stuff ready for him and hopefully make his birthday somehow good. Uh, he'll be excited because there will be friends coming already and it's two weeks from now so it should be okay. But tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Sunday I have um, another boy who has a piano recital and he's gonna perform and we all are planning to go and I'm a bit nervous because you know where lots of people are but like I have it up to here with this corona already and seriously I'm so used to having a mask now going out that it's just I'm so used to having a mask it's unbelievable everywhere I go I just mask up but then the babies don't if I take them with me they don't and um yeah um wow it's been a while since i've been talking i've been more more like listening to videos of other people um watching um taking time and thinking a lot and i haven't had the opportunity to go out with the babies with a stroller so i could be you know the bumpy videos i always do but I do have the need of venting because oh, it's been a lot recently like we take them with their father like we took them yesterday to some kind of um, early sort of cherry trees that blossom e um, easier I mean um, faster than the normal one and they were much much more pink than the Japanese ones that are like with a hint of pink but like very delicate pink and so before that was the the, the day before that was a uh, girls day in japan and that's when you dress up your i don't know i my sister sent me um an a website to check what what people do for girls day and stuff like um you know i have a friend who is who, who was an english teacher as well um, and who married a Japanese as well here well here in Japan and they have a little girl and the the parents of the husband got them for a, a present like this box it's like a, it could be covered with plastic or glass it depends on how much you want to spend on it but inside there is like a doll the two dolls of a, a boy and a girl and I, I liked it but like I'm not really into dolls like that um some people have like like a, a literal staircase mini version of it and they cover it with red clothes and they put dolls on it it's like they're different their significant significance is different like how they put them what what kind of toys i have i have no idea guys i do respect the culture but i do not feel like i want to have that in my house it's not even my house but anyway so um i don't have those dolls and i don't put them up and i remember my boys growing up being in nursery school they um because it's an all-day care so what they do is they do crafts a lot and around march they would um come home they would um ask or they would provide i don't know an empty tissue box and they will cover it up and they'll have like paper um, a boy and a girl sitting on it it was just really really pretty i thought and so we put them always um at the entrance of the house as a decoration it was really nice but with that said there is a special food that you eat and special kind of desserts they make that says hanamatsuri on it and her, uh, we have one girl so i'm really really grateful for her 
and we got her this um, um, our neighbor has we have a neighbor who has a sweets factory and what they call them um, what was it called I, now it's on top of my head but um, <laughs> Anyways, there are two pancakes, and in between them, it's cream, and it can be seasonal, like for Halloween season, like October, it's pumpkin and uh, cinnamon, and like um, they they have like persimmon, and like there are different kinds of um, flavors, and they also make special ones with strawberries on that day, the Hanamatsuri, and so we got for Kalea this. Um, um, there are two pan cakes with cream inside and on top they put more cream and then around the cream there's there are strawberries so she she enjoyed it like we gave it to her and just blotted it black in front of her and her brother was like looking like <laughs> it was really cute but he he she shared I like I gave him some of the strawberries too but she was eating all like the cream she was like <laughs> digging into the cream and she was really happy about it she, she just sat down on her chair and enjoyed and devoured her dessert. It was really cute to watch. I, he got some of the pancakes too. So, so you know, we gave him... But it was really cute to see her. She was... You know, when a girl is happy, I don't know. It's just really cute. Like, when a boy is happy, he's just quiet. Like, like my little boy, he's like almost like... There's this reverence about him and food like he enjoys his food and he loves to eat everything like she is picky well already but that's okay i know girls are picky and so he he just really when he's happy he's just really happy and quiet and just like really cute really cute boy and when she eats and she's happy she just she kicks her little legs down there and she'll be like flashing smiles and I don't know her body language would be like oh I'm happy eating this so it's really cute to observe girls I, I really love it she is really amazing and sleeping now really cute that's their first nap they woke up really early today they usually wake up around 8 9 recently but today when the boys and I wanted to check on them before they left for school we opened the, the sliding door and then um, my baby girl her head went up and she was like oh okay we're we're up already so Oh, wait, they started they early too. So that's their first nap. I'm pretty sure there will be one more right around dinner time. It's always like that. But yeah, so that that was that day. And then, you know, in my head is like, okay, there is another boy who ha who's going to be eight soon. And, and we're planning two weeks afterwards his baptism. And, you know, we're trying to prepare him spiritually as much as we can I don't know if it's enough but like he's a very smart boy and he understands a lot of things and he has a good heart he reaches out always at school to those that are the special need no special needs but like mentally special needs too like in the nursery school when he was there he was his was always friends with he reached out with to those that other kids will avoid and don't play with them and I I just love him for that he he's amazing kiddo he's amazing um so it, yeah and then my it's my mom's birthday today so I I hope I can I get to talk to her later um but you know there's like a lot of you know spring is coming then after that summer is coming and then but then in spring the new school year starts in April my boys are gonna be third, fourth, and fifth grade in elementary school, and they're growing so fast, and they're becoming those wonderful young men. And I'm getting old, and so I like all those like reminders of my body, like telling me those things. Um, yeah, it's just. It makes me start thinking, you know, where do I want to see myself um, like 10 years from now? Where where do I want to be? Do I, 10 years from now, my oldest will be, what, 20? He will be like over teenage even. Like we were talking with him last night about, you know, girls and how when he's 16, he can start dating. 
in and then it, it's really nice if he has like a, a best buddy and they both have girls to take out together like double dates and you know depends where we are I, I don't know how it works here but I really don't know how it works here with dating and stuff um, but you know I just really pray hard that those boys as teenagers are good boys and no rebels I, everybody has you know good days and bad days I get that but I just don't want to have hard time with them when well, nobody wants to have hard time anyway but um, yeah I just want them to be healthy and strong and smart and um, treat their lady nicely and I always tell the, my oldest how how girls feel and how fe how girls expect the boys to, f to 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 treat them or like what is a nice way to make a lady feel special and and things like that so he he knows but like i don't know if that works in japanese culture like f from what i see here pretty much i feel like ladies here are seriously like honestly guys i feel ladies here are like like here and then the guys are over here i i feel i've seen that at work as well and um there are ladies with you know strong personality and but they're not really taken very seriously by other ladies around them that that's what my observance is and you you're like sub, you have to be submissive and you have to be um i don't know i don't want to say the word servant but that's the feeling like I, I i don't know if back home in bulgaria family relationship is like that i don't know if my mom felt like that because my parents got divorced so when I was nine and my sister was six and so it's hard to tell I never really had a father's presence so much it, like in in the early of my life like as, as a teenager I got to know him of course but um I don't really like because I was raised by an independent mom and she worked like in three places to sustain me and my sister um and she had really hard time asking people for favors because sometimes she would need something to be done in the house that is it requires a man's um, power like moving things or like fixing things that are out of um, her reach and power then we will have like friends coming over and her friends like the husband would come and the wife they would be talking with the wife and the husband would be fixing and the, where the kids would be like um, giggling around the guy and like looking at the gadgets and the tools and things like that like I remember that and and then when we were old enough with with my sister I would do a lot in the house um so like like living here for me it's like you have to bow your head at everything and um and even if you're not happy even if you have your own um, wishes and you 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 want to accomplish something more and you want to get to the next level um, you want to uh, accomplish something that is um, requires you know time and you can't you can't like at this moment at this point of my life I I don't feel like I can do that um, it's it's been like a year more than a year now it was like not last October but last last October when I stopped working and it was really nice of my company to reach out um, that the head of the branch in of this company um, emailed me and he asked me if and when I'm planning to come back if I wish to and if I wished they always will have spot for me and so like basically and I loved it. I love children, so I love to teach English. Um, I don't mind doing that. It's just do I do do I want to do that? Do I want to keep doing that? Do I want to just stay in the same spot and existing and not not feeling like accomplishing anything that I wish to to work on and do and do I enjoy being in this place where I'm right now 
um, the answer is obviously no, because here I am talking to my phone um, in a car with my baby snoring behind me in a place where I usually go shopping like once or twice a month and get certain things from and and I have nobody to talk to and and honestly I feel like even um venting to my sister I think she just she just gets depressed too so like she doesn't want to I don't want to burden her more with my own stuff and and sometimes I feel like maybe I'm overthinking things and I just need to relax and do my job and do my daily chores and everything but then but then I was like so there there is this thing you guys have been thinking about a lot recently and then um because I'm Christian you know I read also the scriptures um the bible I also read the book of mormon and there are other scriptures um that I read and I listen to people um a lot um who online explain things more and right now we can we cannot really go to church so we have we have zoom meetings and you know sunday school is like every other week and so there's like a reading for the following week and discussions going on and 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 because there is this pandemic there are some really really great people a, a team that put up videos of um, explaining things in the scriptures for, it's like an hour video and it just I feel like spiritually nourished and it, it's good it feels good but it makes me think about this thing you guys it's called pride pride not like to say when I when you say to your kid you know I'm I'm proud of yourself no not not in that sense you know in that sense it's a good it's a good thing everybody's proud of their kids right and their accomplishments like I'm pretty sure I'll be shining happy when I see my boy um, going on the stage which by the way I haven't even thought about how he's gonna be clothed because they go fancy there they go like really fancy in those recitals I mean we were there once when um, two of them performed I mean I the girls that were performing there were like seriously like princesses dresses and tiaras and the boys were like so sharp it's like the 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 ball the, the everything is just like wow amazing and so my kids we ordered for them stuff online and so they will look sharp like with the jacket and a tie and like the little uh, vest underneath and so they looked good but those clothes they are small on them now and um and that was two years ago then then last year they were practicing their star wars um um so my oldest had like the the vader march thingy da, 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 da. and so he was really good at it and he and we were thinking because he had the um, the costume for halloween and and the mask that the front of, of it a vader we were thinking he he just shows up like that on stage and then we know what he bows um he he gets up like that and then he sits on the piano and takes the mask and performs and then you know we were thinking like that and then um my other boy my middle guy from the from the biggest three he was uh playing a da 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 on it was supposed to be with um electron whatever this is i don't know in japan they call it electron it's like a electronic piano but it has um you can put like a usb in it and then it has for the feet too so it's like a electric organ kind of thing it's it's really cool thing so you you play like um your you you use the keyboard but you also play um, there's like a music background that you don't play that with other instruments. So it's a really cool thing. So, so my boy was supposed to play that and dressed up like um, a pilot of the the X-wings. So he was like orange overall and the camera. Oh, he looked so cute. But pandemic canceled. I almost cried because I was so excited to see them there shine with their costumes and doing that and just be different from all those trivial um trivial music that kids learn here you know that everybody learns like la 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 like all those like i don't know i just thought it would, it would be great but and then that was canceled so they they don't they stopped doing practicing that music so i don't know what my boy is performing on sunday at it he he played it to me it's nice but it's unfamiliar to me and it's just i don't know for me it's not exciting anymore like i will be excited of course to see him there playing 
but I'm not looking forward to it to be honest it's like pandemic first of all second of all I have to drag two babies with me possibly they will be with the carriers or we just care I don't know they're even bigger for carriers now because they're getting heavy and um they they walk a lot recently and so it will be and and now th from what I heard is they're gonna be like once your kid performs you take the kid and you leave you go home so I'm like well well those that are the last ones who do they perform to like the last person the last two three people perform for nobody <laughs> it's like what so I don't know where they put my kid and if it's in the beginning or middle or end but like I honestly don't really care I just want to see him on stage and take a video of it and send it to my parents and be proud of him all I want but proud that's proud right I'm talking about something else like I wish I don't have scriptures with me right because I'm in the car but um, there is this thing that it's called pride okay this is you, you know what pride pride does to us right um, it makes you start comparing and I think as moms we compare our children to each other we compare each other as moms and compare to this lady how I do things and compare to this lady how I'm dressing and how am I maintaining myself and once you start going like down 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 because oh look at her in the mall like she looks perfect she has she's dragging two children next to her but like her hair is done she has perfect makeup you don't see masks from us so much nowadays but like you can see you know earrings and um you can see eyes or like and clothes and then you just wonder how people do that and you're like all oh, with your like sweats and shoes or whatever oh so so this is this is also part of it like when you feel when you feel lower than the others that's also called pride because the ones you're compare so you start feeling so sorry for yourself right and um then there is the pride that you know you feel your you know the the common one when you when you feel like you're better than others in something or in or everything i don't know um i think men tend to be like that they're competitive and they um try to maintain status where they're like well i'm better than you like that like i know this and that and oh you didn't know about that and kind of thing kind of i don't know if if it's a main thing but i that's what i think that's my personal opinion okay um ladies we maybe girls at school or like up to high school call in college they already kind of like figure out where like world what happens but up to high school maybe they'll feel like oh yeah i'm better i'm prettier um i have the best boyfriend like the hot guy in the school and i'm so great and my parents are so rich so i have all the jewelry and all the blah well here is uniform so nobody stands out and the others but i don't know in general like i'm, I'm generalizing but like after that when you start comparing like oh but like she married this person and they're doing so well and you know how I don't know how it is it for guys and ladies, but like for ladies, it's always like that. It's like the the grass is greener in the neighbor's place than mine, you know. So this is this is when you start comparing. I think that's when pride rises, and that is that has really destructive, yeah, way 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 too much destruction power in it, and, and it's it starts small always. It starts small, and it does it does damage you like little by little that's that's a that's like the, the strongest tool of um satan and his minions and his legions and whatever followers um it's it's always starts small and like harm harmless um and then leads to much much worse things and addictions and self-hurt and suicides and things like that it's just um but i don't know what i'm talking about like i because i've been thinking about that a lot and 
and then and then I'm thinking so here I am here I am in this place I never I never planned to be here I never I was never told to stay here I was never kept like a prisoner but I was never it was never a conversation of okay let's sit down and talk about what do you want it's like you have a spouse from a different country you trust that person follow that person and to some extent you know you, when you trust somebody you you trust them with your future plans and in those future plans there's no you then it becomes like what like do you guys understand like can you live in a way like that for so many years can you can you put yourself in, into like um i don't know how to explain it it's like oh it's all in my head but like um okay so you never sit down and plan for the future together about any matter which includes children too um and you know when i say to be on the same page about something means to have the same concept of okay let's um send our kids to this school or like um let's not because of blah 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 or and and agree on that that that's that's what it means to me on the same page but there's not nothing like that and i've been trying for the last few days to you know be understanding and accept um no reason no um try to understand what's like to be my spouse like what's like to have uh, to be married to a bulgarian who doesn't like it here and i tried i really tried and i was thinking putting myself in it must be hard it must be really hard because um she doesn't enjoy anything here she doesn't um like to even talk to people because she's so depressed because she's here and she um you know i'm the one providing now for the whole family it's hard you have to work my butt off so hard i have to um do my church calling um and take care of um lots of people and coordinate with lots of people have to constantly be in touch with that person that person and i also want to study and to learn more new things and i don't see any support okay i understand all that and there is there is just one simple thing i don't understand why why it's so hard for two adults to sit down and talk and plan i'll tell you guys why i'll tell you my side of why because every time when used to now i'm i'm just completely given up on it but like i used to have the desire to talk and um you know share my concerns and my fears and what i like what i don't like but first of all he knows second of all he's well aware of that and and he is sick of it to listen to it i i think and third of all there is always a phone call or a text message that is a priority and not our conversation it's like i'll be talking in the car with him and like okay hold on and then there's a phone call or like a text or i don't know so it's like you're married to this person where 
you don't even know that person anymore seriously you don't really know that person anymore um no i don't i really don't when i think about it it's so strange it's so like i feel like i know i know the day of my own sister or like my friend better than um no yeah i don't really get to know like there is a, a meeting sometimes he says i have meeting at this place i have to go visit that person i'm interested in uh, this uh, zoom meeting whatever sometimes i i get to know but like most of the time i'm in complete and, and it's because i don't really care i don't really care i'm to the point where okay so the house is just like this one thing that you go to and you eat there and use the bathroom and go bath and sleep and then there's the other exciting stuff you know people meeting people expanding your business thinking to meet more people learning working planning um reaching out to those who want to do internship in japan um uh, you know things like that like that's the core that that's the center the of the universe of that person uh and the rest of us were like the secondary layer it's like oh yeah like uh i'm this i'm so and so i have phd in this and that while you are having your phd while you're having your masters you're also having children and they um and a wife somewhere there you know in the background um and those people existed and they were uh, hopefully part of your life too and you, whether you recognize it re re whether you realize it or not they were there and there still are i don't know how stupid i am to be doing it but i still i'm still there in the picture somewhere in the background um and so 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 here's the thing i don't know if all japanese ladies are like that i, I don't know if i'm a, like a person who lets others stomp on them all over and i don't know what it is but i'm to the point where there are things that i want to do there are things that i want to accomplish i want to be and i'm not sure if that is okay i'll tell you guys what's in my head right now seriously like i, I thought about it yesterday because there was um this uh a little conversation we had and i was saying like oh if you if if you go back to work would you choose like you know the score that school like i'm like i don't think i would be choosing you know the company places you wear but like it made me think you know i'll have two twins who will be turning to next january so they will probably in, enroll in that in to, next year in you know april i don't know when they will accept them in that nursery school but um where my kids my other three kids um grew up in from the age of two and they'll stay there till first grade and then you know so so here is what's going to be the picture i go back to work i finish work I go pick them up from the nursery school. I take them home. The other three, maybe one or two of them could be home by that time. If not, you know, about the same time. They do their homework. I start, you know, laundry, dinner, um, bath and all that stuff. We exchange few words of how was your day probably with the, with the boys the babies have to be taken care of oh my gosh that's like coming back from nursery school means you take your uh, stinky diapers with you too by the way they, they they don't keep anybody's diapers there everything goes back home with you in a bag that is tied to the the backpack of the of the kid so um so that so that would be like going home from work i'll have to do like all that and then the next day i have to go back to work and 
and then at home I come back and I'm dealing by myself with five because you know he has work after they teach English in Japan after people have work in school right and so so that's gonna be my life for I don't know how many years if I if I just keep being here and submit myself to what is the reality in f ahead of me and so I'm here to tell you guys that I don't think I can do it I'm not this Japanese person who says Gambarimas. I can do this and then when you ask them how do you do it and they just say I don't know I just do it I just do it There is a truck coming really close between my car and the other car. Okay, I think, I think it passed. Okay, phew. Anyway, so, so at this point I'm just asking myself, because you know I matter, like my opinion to me matters you can call it pride, you can call it whatever you want, you can call it um, person being kept in a cage for so long without an opinion that just it bursts out, I don't, I don't care whatever you call it, but I don't think I want to continue to do that. just like I don't want my oldest to go to uh, the junior high that he's supposed to go like area wise I I don't want him to go there and I I wish my kids continue their education in English actually um, but and the, there are a lot of things that I disagree and I don't want to deal with here and I don't like and I don't want to reason with anymore because it's been so many long years of reasoning asking why not getting any answer just mm, mm. and it's been to the point where I am guys I'm so tired I'm so tired of life in general like I just I just I'm so tired there is no nothing to look forward to nothing to besides my kids growing up there is nothing to enjoy there is nothing to look forward to there is nothing to it's like piling up piling up more stress more stress more stress more stress and i i don't think it's fair to just keep doing that like for some people you know like people born and raised here that's like life that's normal like every day you know like when i go back home I don't even know what is back back home. Like seriously, I never I never raised my kids back home. I never had a family back home, um, my own family. So I don't really know how it's going to be there too. But at least I know the ways of my people. And at 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 that point, there is peace of mind. There is, yeah, they could be knuckleheads. They could be. Um, corrupt you know um corruption but like in you know like um you have to know people to to get th to get things done there um not efficient as services like here in good old japan but at least i will i'll be speaking in my language and i will be thinking naturally like here i have to think okay no, I don't even think anymore. But like, what you say have to be in English, and sometimes it doesn't align with what you you think in your head and your in your. I don't know. It's it's like extra extra layer of stress. I feel like, um, however long it it's been here and kind of like getting used to the manners and the body language and the reactions of people and things like that kind of got used to it but you know doesn't mean I enjoy it I really don't um I don't so yeah this is my event for today I, I just I just don't know what am I doing here still um 
and here's another thing i'm sorry it's gonna be a long video here's another thing you guys hear me out here how how does it work for, like i i have a friend who is disabled i think what what stage i don't know what uh she got married to some middle eastern girl guy who she lived in england and in, in the uk and she and i think he he had pure interest in just getting online with her so he could get a citizenship in that country and he can live there a long story short they had a baby and that and then he started sleeping with the um whoever the lady who is taking care of the baby like what do you call it, nanny and and then they you know i think they split i don't know they, i don't know but she's there with her boy and she's doing i don't know okay and then i'm thinking oh my gosh like how is it fair for guys in general like i'm starting to hate guys right now seriously guys because not hating them but like trying to understand their mentality like you get into a relationship with somebody you marry somebody and then and then that's it it's like you check the box and and then you you have kids together and then that's not a check of the box but those are people those are those are people who have feelings who have also things that they want to do you know they cannot just put them in the corner and just do whatever you want and then go ahead and do it and then the the mid aid the, the mid crisis whatever you know when guys decide that they want to oh my gosh i've seen guys here like when that age hits they start having like really funky um hairstyles and outfits and like necklaces i'm like okay <laughs> that is probably the the you that you want to be right now it's really interesting but anyway so you you marry somebody you have kids with that person that person takes care of your kids that that lady right and you go you have like bachelor masters phd you can have three phds if you want you can have five phds and three masters <coughs> and yeah and then but then if the if the relationship doesn't work and people divorce <laughs> then what happens just 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 think with me what happens the guy with the phds and the mm, mbas and what whatever degrees many degrees that can offer him wonderful jobs and have their own businesses and working great and then this lady with the bachelor degrees degree only and kids how do you see what i mean like how how is okay like like if i have friends that they they got divorced because they didn't work out for them the lady has to start from scratch like she has to work her butt off like super whatever jobs she finds to maintain um the kids and the bills the rented place and whatever and the guy is just having it so great he's got his own place his own car his own business and he's open for a new relationship you know you see what i mean here it's like how is that how is that okay how is, and you know like in every country usually like the kids go with the mom and then they they work out like a plan where they can see each other and the, the kids can see both parents and stuff like that but i think the the growth of both parents should be parallel so it's not so that if they get divorced they can be in equal basis not like that but i think they both should have the chance to grow and to be and to feel independent financially because believe it or not money does matter even if you're not greedy if, even if you don't if you like share with your abundance with others that's great but if you don't have it you need it to sustain yourself and your children too and you have to start somewhere if you're the mom it's really hard
I don't know how my mom did it. I don't know how she did it. She was really strong. Now when I think about it, she was really strong. Emotionally too, because she never fell apart in front of us. Like there are a few times that I can remember as a little kid, but she vented to friends. She has this friend that she's still friends with her. And yeah, but you see what I mean? Like, how is it okay? He became a doctor of like medical doctor or some kind of doctor. And she ended up staying home and watching the kids um, and having something on the side if she could. If she couldn't, that's fine too. And then the relationship doesn't work and boom. It's like, okay, now you, you bummer for you. Sorry. Like, I, I'm, you can't, in the, in the best scenarios, in, when the both, both parents are in the same, from the same country, um, she would get the house at least probably or in the car and he will and she will have financial support from the from the guy but again he's the one that oh was the um, money maker like who was bringing the money home put the bacon on the table you know and it's just so not fair that's what I'm saying I'm seriously so pissed about it because there's not much you can do about it unless you become overnight like some kind of I don't know I don't know or you have like rich relatives to help you with or I don't know just yeah I, I don't think how life is here is just sucks man it sucks but anyways to finish pos possibly positive is like you ladies out there who feel the same way maybe or you understand some of it or like in a different situation but like half part of it understanding don't think any less of yourself okay you have the potential you have every person is unique everybody's different and everybody can be an influence for good in this life in so many different ways so don't think that's the end of the, your world and you have people who love you and who who think you're important to them so don't ever think about like you're gonna go and do something stupid and and end it up for once and for all don't do that it's not worth it and and there's so many people who love you out there and so let's let's be strong and strong moms like this this is what makes this world the world that it is right now with all the inventions and all the technology and all it's because of strong moms i i believe that because if you don't have somebody to take care of your own kids at home while you're going out there inventing changing um making the world a better place there is somebody raising the new generation that is going to improve the world as it is now and so i think i'm grateful for strong moms in this life including my own happy birthday mom bye